Hey everybody, it's me, Andy. Uh, we're gonna make some buttermilk biscuits today in Andy's kitchen. All right, let's get started. We'll start out with two cups all-purpose flour. Next thing, one teaspoon of salt. That's a little over a teaspoon. Half teaspoon, half teaspoon. Baking soda. Don't let this throw you, it's a bunch. A tablespoon, a whole tablespoon of baking powder. That's what makes these old boys rice so good. Alright, got that, that, and that. Okay. Gonna sift this together so it'll mix good. I try to sift about everything. Woohoo! Sound like old train, never even been on the train, but sound like what one ought to sound like. Okay. Go get this on the mixer. Before I get started, I want to say this. <clears throat> pastry cutter, pastry knife. You can do the same thing I'm doing with this mixer, just like this here. The reason I have one of these is because before I had a mixer, that's what I did everything with, so. For anybody that's a purist out there and believes in him all the time, that's that's good. I'm glad for you. Okay. I love the way sifted flour looks. All right. Next, we're going to add uh, six tablespoons, six tablespoons of cold butter. I cut it up and then I stick it in the refrigerator. No, <laughs> it didn't come like this. I cut it up and then chill it good. That's why I got the whisk on there now. To help incorporate this butter in there with that flour and stuff. Put it in a couple little pieces at a time so it won't stick together and it'll incorporate better like that. Now, different people have different ways of telling you, you know, it should look like, some people say like a coarse meal. But some people say uh, it look, needs to look like little BBs. I always figured it, it works best just to feel it with your hands. And you can feel when that butter's worked in good because it just, I don't know what the word is. It'll cling together better. It'll cling together. Not like Play-Doh or nothing, but you'll see when you make them. I've been making them like this for a long time. They always turn out real good. easier than doing this right here. You still got to play with it just a little bit with your hands. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Oh yeah, that's about halfway done. mixing blade on here. Lock the blade. I always lock the blade. Oh, mixing blade with four things around. Buttermilk biscuits. Okay, here's a little trick. You probably know it. I don't know. If you don't, though, it's a good trick to know. Let's say you're getting ready to make uh, a, a cake 
or some bread and it costs buttermilk and a lot of recipes cost buttermilk you go well, all I got is whole milk well you got two choices you can either use lemon juice or vinegar and I always got vinegar so uh you take your for a cup that's a cup there for a cup of uh, whole milk put your t tablespoon of vinegar in there let it sit about 15-20 minutes It'll start to curdle just like buttermilk does, and it'll give it that taste. I want y'all to see the way this looks. That's what you're looking for. It does kind of look, I hope you can see that, like coarse meal. That's what we're looking for. All right. Slowly, slowly add your milk to it. Not because it really has any difference in the way it mixes, but just to keep it from putting too much milk in it. I get this dough made, I'll tell you a joke. You wanna hear one? If I can tell it right, I ain't heard it in a long time. It's an old Navy joke. I was in the Navy four years back in the 70s. This take it may take more buttermilk than I got. If it does, it just does. No, it's taking. Wait, leave me one of them GoPro cam things that stick on my hat. You can look down in this mixer and see. All right, I'd say I probably got three quarters of a cup in there. It's starting to take and turn into dough. Last thing you want is a soupy. You got a mess to do that. I'd rather have it a little bit dry than anything. All right. That's good looking dough right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm proud of this. All right. Hold still. Okay. Don't be scared to fly or something, because fly is cheap enough. I've had people tell me before, why you put so much flour on there, Andy? My dough don't stick. It makes it a little tricky if you're having to redo your dough to make more biscuits. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> if I do, though, I just get a smaller... That's what your biscuit does good look like. You can see it. Y'all know what it is. If you don't, that's about the consistency you want. Okay, I'm not going to work it much. Because when you add the liquid to it, it gets the glutens in the flour to working. <clears throat> and it's the more you handle it, the less it's going to rise. I don't know how or why. I don't know the science behind it. But I know what works, what don't. And no more than I handle it, we'll be okay, I believe. Go ahead and dust your pan good. You can use any kind of rolling pin you want, I guess. It's just a regular old discount store rolling pin. I guess it'll work. Yeah, this is going to be good business. See you. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You're supposed to roll it out like you do two hour intervals on a clock, but I don't ever do that. Alright, I promised you a joke. I'm going to tell it to you. If I can get this on out. This thing's going to be bigger than the side of a house. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just trying to make biscuits for dinner tonight. Alright. There's this Admiral. That's a high-ranking naval official. <clears throat> he just took command of the entire eastern fleet. The eastern side of the United States. He's in charge of the whole thing. 450. Uh, pre each other and 450. I think his cutter's too big. I don't know. I, don't, I believe it's going to be too big for what I want. I'm going to downsize. First time I ever used that word. Anyway, he's in charge of everybody on the eastern seaboard. 
And uh, one of the things he wanted to do is he wanted to meet everybody who was aboard all his ships. So he uh, he took the visitor. And he got down to the last ship. And he come on board and he was talking to the captain. The captain said, you got to taste the cooking of this cook we have, this mess specialist. That's what they call him. He said, why? He said, the boy can cook. He said, he bakes using his, everything he bakes, he uh, uses his grandma's old recipes. A little thick in the middle. It gets like that sometimes. He said, really? He said, yeah. He said, all right. So the admiral went down there to the mess decks. And, uh, Sit down. It was in the morning time. And, uh, I want you to know they brought in the most god awful mess of scrambled eggs and grits and bacon and sausage and the biggest, prettiest. I'm trying to think of something look like one. Biscuits look like this right here. Look just about like that right there. My right, cool. And on top of the biscuit. There was this beautiful embossed anchor, the navy emblem, and top of every biscuit. Well, that blew that admiral's mind. How in the heck did he do that? He said, well, <clears throat> tell that boy to come here and talk to him. The fellow said, he can't come talk to you right now. He's got to cook for 500 people. He said, all right, where's that? I'm going to go talk to him myself. He said, all right. So he did. Dang, that's a good biscuit. They went in there and found that boy. That boy was steady. He's like I'm doing now. Just steady rolling biscuits out. Admiral said, son, them's the best biscuits I've had since I left South Carolina. He said, well, Admiral, sir, here's my grandma's recipe. He said, I brought a book with her recipes in them. And, uh, I had to do a little variations on the stuff, make it work with Navy life, but uh, everybody seemed to like them. He said, oh, I love them. He said, I especially love your biscuits. He said, uh, they taste good and they're fluffy and stuff. He said, but mostly I, I've got to know how you put that Navy anchor in the middle of all them biscuits like it. He said, because I'm going to get every cook in the entire fleet to do that. And, Oh boy said, well, Admiral, he said, that's real easy. He said, uh, every time I make a biscuit, I just take it and I plop it against my Navy belt buckle. And Navy belt buckle's got an anchor on it, he said. And that's where that comes from. That Admiral, he hit the dead gum roof. He said, uh, boy, you done broken every rule it is about hygiene and, uh, cleanliness in the Navy. said, uh, I'm going to write you up and you're going to be in trouble big time and all these other things. And, uh, boy, he just started going off on him. So old fella just sat there and just kind of looked up. He looked up and Admiral steady shaking his finger and fussing at him. And, uh, the old boy just kept kind of looking up. Admiral finally said, Sailor, what you got to say for yourself? He said, what are you looking at? And he said, Admiral, with all due respect, this fix you pitching over these biscuits, I don't know what you're going to do when I tell you how I make these donuts.
that big link there, and I'll write a note or something in there. Click on that link, and uh, there's a PDF file in there that'll come up. It's real good printable version, in case you want a recipe. And if you see this on Facebook, the link will be up there at the top, under the description. Mm, 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 good biscuits. Anyway, <laughs> I hope I made you smile, and I hope you make some of these biscuits, because they good. It's my third pan today, and uh, I make them on Sunday so I can put them up and have them all week. I don't have to bake them no more. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good day. And uh, oh, my name is Andy Blackstock, B L A C K S T O C K. And if you're on Facebook and uh, you want some of my recipes or anything like that, send me a friend request, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you're specific about what you need, I probably got a recipe for it laying around. All right. I'll see y'all.